Hello, it's your boy, Dapper the Don, and I hope you're having a wonderful day today. You guys have been waiting for it. And it's here, Game of Thrones baddie tier list. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty pumped for this one pause. The way most people are fans of Star Wars, I would say I'm for Game of Thrones. It's just the lore and storytelling that gets me. Now you guys already know what I gotta say before we start. This is just the Don's opinion. You don't have to agree if it doesn't apply. Let it fly also. I forgot some of these people's scenes, as some of them were just side characters, so I had to find the scene they were in and re-watch it to remember them. Now let's get straight into it. First on the list, we have Arya Stark, and she's gonna be in our C tier. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you boys. I've seen this girl grow up this whole TV show and to see her as a little girl, to the point when she's old enough to get her own sex scene. Uh, I don't know about all that. She's not ugly and is actually badass, but on the other hand, she's not hot, and this is a baddie tier list. Next on the list is Lyanna Mormont, and she's going into D tier. I mean, do I really need to explain this, guys? No? Great, moving on. Next on the list is Lyanna Stark, and she's going into S tier. This girl, Meow Meow, started a whole war, and is the reason for Robert's rebellion, the death of the Targaryen, and the whole damn start of Game of Thrones. Her snatch must have been godly. Next on the list is Jilly, and she's going into B tier. This girl and her kid weren't worth all the trouble. First of all, that kid came from her husband, who's also her father, so that kid is not even on a good start. But I can't even be mad at her because she was smart enough to get the biggest simp of the whole show, Pussy Boy Sam. Actually, I take that back. There's someone else with that title. Also, I don't know, it's something about her face giving a little oink oink if you catch my drift. Next on the list is Olena Tyrell, and she's going into D tier. I bet that Fanny was something back in her days. Next on the list is Sansa Stark, and she's going into B tier. This girl has been so used and abused this whole series, I will feel bad smashing her. She is dealing with so much trauma from losing her dog, losing her dad, losing her sister, losing her brother, losing her mom, losing her brother again, losing her house, losing her virginity forcefully, and losing her brother once again. I'm surprised how she never ended it herself. This girl has so many trust issues, you could tell her the sky is blue and she'll think you're lying. Next on the list is Roz, and we are going to put her ass in A tier. Something to learn about your boy the Don is I love a nasty freaky bitch. That shit just makes my tail stand up. Too bad she went out the way she did. We still smoking on that Joffrey pack till this day. Next on the list is Shay and she's going into D tier. Man, this bitch, you slimy c Look, I understand that you were hurt by what I said when I was really trying to save your life. But not only you lied on my name, but you then go and have sex with my dad. My fucking dad, you of a woman. I'm glad you got yours the way you did, but best believe if I caught you in the act, oh boy, oh boy, the devil himself would wince to the actions I will perform on you. I will dead ass f pole and then take that pole and f And I'm not even done after I f tie your Because who doesn't like weekends? Sorry for going crazy on you guys, it's just this one hurt your boy. Next on the list is Caitlyn Stark, and her old ass is going to see tier. You know what's crazy, this woman had me feeling bad for her after the Red Wedding, but then I realized she was such a bitch to Jon Snow, and literally prayed for his downfall, so maybe she got hers. Next on the list is Talisa Stark, and she's going into A tier. This girl, the reason my favorite character Rob Stark got killed, but I can't even be mad at him. Shoddy, beautiful as hell, and Rob Dumbass knew he had to fulfill his part of the deal, but said, F*** it, we ball. She also had the most painful death out of anyone else on this list. Next on the list is Melisandre, and she's going to S tier. Now I can already hear you guys say it now. Don Yu, she's really like 1,000 years old without her necklace. You think I give a damn? Ignorance is bliss, and I'll be raw-dogging that till winter come. Next on the list is going to be Daenerys Targaryen. And let me tell you something about this girl. Now I swear to you guys, I don't know why, and believe me when I tell you this, I did the research, seek doctors, and even seek God. You guys will probably look at me differently for this and never look at me the same when I tell you this. Every time I watch this show and see Daenerys Targaryen, for some reason I get this fixation to just eat her ass. Now I know this is wild and crazy, but gun to my head, I can't tell you why. I don't even want to smash. I just want to eat her ass and then go home. Just for that alone, we are going to put her in S tier. This is the only girl that makes me feel like this. Don't get me wrong, my baby girl Scarlett Johansson still clears miles away, but it's just something about seeing this girl with her white hair and her dragon that makes me think her ass doesn't taste like normal ass. And I need to find out what it is. I want to say it's the dog in me, but it's more like the demon. Next on the list is Ygritte, and she's going to B tier. Shoddy is overrated as f and was making my boy Jon Snow simp like a mother f I mean, yeah, Daenerys did the same, but we just covered why she's different. 
Next on the list is Kinvara, the Red Priestess. And she's going into S tier. Not gonna lie, every Red Priestess on the show would have made it to S tier. And I'm starting to think that whatever religion that is, it's full of baddies. Shit, let me find out, fuck it. I'm fine with sacrificing a couple of kids. Next on the list is Missandei, and she's going on S tier. Yo, this girl made me the biggest hater ever. I liked her so much and hated when she started messing with Grey Worm. Yes, I know he has no pecker down there, but he was still a munch and got to taste her sweet El Dorado walls before me, which made him public enemy number one. I was hating so badly and didn't want to see them together that I was cool with her dying just so he wouldn't have her. Next on the list is Lisa Tully and we putting her crazy ass in D tier. Crazy ass bitch. Next on the list is Mira and she's going to B tier. I feel bad for this girl, not going to lie. She lost her brother in the journey of bringing Bran's fumbling ass to get high and do LSD with a magic wizard and all he can do after is be like, bet, be cool, man really threw out his chance to get some meow meow. Next on the list is Yara Greyjoy and she's going to C tier. This girl really let her brother finger her on some Sweet Home Alabama. Speaking of Sweet Home Alabama, next on the list is Cersei and she's going to B tier. This is the most dangerous Karen I know of. I would put her lower on the list, but this girl, meow, meow, must be off the chain. Made Jamie Lannister waste a whole series of character development just to die with her. Next on the list is Myrcella Baratheon, and she's going to A tier. Probably the only person on Game of Thrones as a whole who was just chilling and didn't get in anyone's way. I mean, I can't remember a word she said, but she seems pretty chilled. Next on the list is the Sand Sisters, and they all going to A tier. Y'all know how I feel about cute girls who are dangerous. Especially Tyene Sand's freaky ass. Thank God for women. Next on the list is Ilaria Sand and she's going to D tier. Remember when this bitch really thought she was going to be a menace in the war and lost before she even started? F***ed around with the wrong bitch and got hers. Next on the list is Osha and her dirty ass going to S tier. When this girl wants to be sexy, she can be sexy. Too bad she tried it on the last guy you should ever try to make simp for you. Next on the list is Marjorie Tyrell. And I don't know about this one chat. Every dude she's been with ended up dying. So it's giving bad luck, meow meow. She's honestly B tier, but I know some of you guys will get mad. So I'll make a deal with you. I'll put her in A tier, but I don't want to hear shit when I do this next. Next on the list is Brienne of Tarth, and she's going to A tier. I don't want to hear it. This beautiful giant deserves A tier. And many more. I have a thing for tall women. And this angel is 6'3". Jamie didn't deserve you, baby girl. Not much to say on this one because you guys will cancel me, so I'm just putting her in D tier. Not going to lie, I had fun with this one. Also, I'm probably going to have to do this list again for the Game of Thrones House of Dragons series. Also, you guys wanted me to do a WWE tier list after this one, but I don't know which era to do, so let me know in the comments below. One more thing is that there will be a story time coming next week, so be on the lookout for that. Well, that will be all for today. If you have any topics you would like for the Don to help you with, be sure to leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification, and like and share the video. I'm Dapper the Don, and have a good day.